great dog walking weather in the forecast Amy over the next couple of days because we have this lower humidity. It is going to feel great Thursday, Friday, Saturday into the weekend. Take advantage of this, especially in those early mornings where our low temperatures are going to be dipping down into the 60s, maybe even some upper 50s by Friday morning and Saturday morning. So nice and refreshing for the days ahead. Also, that low humidity is go, going to go along with temperatures in the 70s. Our average high is right around 80, so we'll be close to there Thursday and Friday, but or excuse me, Thursday and Saturday, but Friday is going to be relatively cooler day for us. That humidity being low is going to make it feel really refreshing, and we're going to have lots of sunshine like we did today. However, this afternoon, now this evening, we have had a few cumulus clouds bubble up as we expected a few uh, showers to pass through the region, and there are a couple nearby our peninsulas, especially up on the eastern shore. Cool uh, shot here from Cape Charles. We've been showing that, showing this to you all show long here. The rainfall is up towards the eastern shore now. There's a few pockets and zones of heavy rain in uh, near Eastville and along Northampton, but Accomack now is just dealing with some light rain. The heaviest of the rain is up towards Chickatika. That's moving out. The showers have been dying off, and I think those on the middle peninsula just may get skirted or briefly get a little bit of that rainfall out towards West Point and Reedville. Chickatika again, some of the heavier rain is there now. It's moving off uh, shore soon. A few downpours just north of Gloucester will be passing by the region here. I think we can get a couple for the peninsula here as a few showers down towards Petersburg are drifting kind of in a southeasterly fashion. They'll get you in Williamsburg closer to sunset. This is a really cool indication of that cool air coming down out of these showers that could create new new shower or downpour development maybe on the south side. So yeah, we'll keep a few passing showers in the forecast for the next hour or two, even in about 10 o'clock or so. Not going to totally soak us, not going to cause any big issues, not necessarily dealing with any rumbles of thunder, all sub severe, just something nice to water the garden there. There will be all clearing out by dawn with temperatures in the 60s as the secondary boundary pushes offshore. In comes high pressure, and that is going to create beautiful weather moving forward. Sunshine for tomorrow, as we mentioned, and 70s in the forecast, mid 70s feeling really good. Some spots in the upper 70s, but all of that's going to go along with these low dew points. Lower the dew point, lower the humidity. Dew points in the 40s and 50s is expected for tomorrow and Friday, maybe even Saturday. So that means it's going to feel real, real good for us. Again, especially Friday. Look at these dew points. That's bottom of the scale. Those aren't temperatures. That's just good indication of how great, and honestly, it's going to feel outside Thursday and especially Friday. Friday will be where our temperatures bottom out. It'll be the coolest day we have on the seven day with temps in the low 70s. Sunshine holds all the way through the weekend for that humidity makes a return and this summer warmth moves back in early next week.